with the developments over the last week with the significant spread in the outbreak outside of China to a number of countries, now over 60, and many of them with uh, some significant outbreaks, as we said, we are in a position where we are going to expect to see more cases in Australia. And we are prepared and we are preparing for even, even greater numbers. We've got lots of preparation underway across the health sector. Travel bans are, at this stage, when we have an outbreak in many countries, a, a way of delaying the burden of new cases coming in. It's no longer possible to absolutely prevent new cases coming in, given the increasing changes in epidemiology around the country. So in the case of Iran, there's such a high risk that a travel ban is worth doing because it will slow down the number of cases. You cannot stop Australian citizens coming back. Some of the cases that came back from Iran with the disease are Australian citizens. It's a way of slowing things down. At the moment, the medical advice was that the situation in Italy and South Korea, where they have large outbreaks but they're confined and being localised, the risk uh, the proportionality of putting in a travel ban wasn't justified in terms of its benefit to the health protection of the Australian community.